Wamigo, Kansas, a tiny town where the Wizard of Oz comes to life along Lincoln Street. Witches and wizards, young and old, good and bad, visit daily for a dose of L. Frank Baum's classic tale. It seems that around every corner, behind every door, there's some sign that Dorothy and her friends are not too far away. Wait a second, am I wearing blue gingham? And are those ruby red shoes? And is that a, is that a squished witch? I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Wait, no, we are in Kansas. Anyway, let's check this place out. Guamillo is a very close-knit town and population around 5,000. So it's very small, very family-oriented. Um, everyone cares about each other. The Oz Museum had 38,000 visitors last year. As long as the community embraces it, it will continue to grow rapidly. Um, it has grown revenue for the local businesses. It has grown revenue for local towns around us. We have a current collection of about 12,000 pieces and we have um, first edition books, all of Frank Baum's first edition books. We have two of the original flying monkeys from the movie. We have the original ballerina dress. We have original costumes from the munchkins. One particular display shows a connection between the museum and the events of September 11th, 2001. John Paul Caffiero, the museum's collector, ordered five Wizard of Oz plush dolls from the Warner Brothers store in the mall at the World Trade Center mere days before the attacks. They reached him on September 13th, two days after the store had been destroyed. I have seen people come in crying because they're so happy to be here. It just brings back childhood memories um, of their family, it was the one time of the year that they knew their family was coming together, sitting down and just being a family. Every, the whole world shut off and it was Wizard of Oz. After you fill your brain with Oz knowledge at the museum, fill your stomach two doors down. The lunch rush is just hitting Wamigo's finest establishment for Mexican cuisine, Toto's Tacos. We opened it up in 2005. It was a mom and pop restaurant and we didn't really know anyone in town. I'm from California, and my wife had been originally from Manhattan, so we moved here because we liked the, the, the downtown. They take care of the downtown here, and we felt there was a sense of community pride. And then when we opened, the, they came in, and they've been coming in ever since. So eat to your heart's content, and then go get something to wash it down. This is where the adult crowd can unwind and feel like a kid while acting their own age. Oz Winery. That's right, wine and Wizard of Oz, together as they always should have been. Well, the Oz Winery was opened on July 4th, 2007. Uh, one of the owners is originally from this area and saw the chance to open up a winery a little bit after the museum had gained popularity and thought it would be fun to associate with the whole Oz theme. Now here at the Oz Winery, you can always just have one sample or, you know, don't be a fraidy cat. You gotta build up some of that lion's courage. You can sit here and just sip and drink a full flight, but be careful. You don't wanna turn yourself into a drunken munchkin, because let's be honest, drink too much and you could be seeing real flying monkeys. The labels get the attention of people for sure, but we kind of, we're all wine lovers here and that's our priority first. So after the labels have been established for a few years, you know, you get to kind of really focus on what goes inside of them. So we try to have a wide variety. No matter what your taste is, you're going to find something that you like and hopefully you'll like the label the best on it too. We get a lot of people that buy two bottles, one with the label that they like and one with the wine that they like. And what would any Wizard of Oz town be without one of these? A yellow brick road. Now you can purchase one of these bricks, personalize it, and leave it here on the road in Wamigo, or you can always take it home as a souvenir. Because as we know, there's no place like home.